on patrol with a counter-terror team in central London. These officers are from Operation Servitor, a mix of uniformed and covert plainclothes teams. Um, we've got a lot of plainclothes officers working the area today, just keep people safe on the, the Christmas. So if you see anyone staring at you... And if we're as well as engaging with the public, these patrols are on the lookout for anything suspicious, anything out of the ordinary, especially over the busy festive period. Draw together at Christmas. Uh, both for our families, we go shopping, uh, we visit events like Winter Wonderland, uh, we've got busiest, one of the busiest shopping streets in Europe behind us, uh, obviously draws a lot of people in and we ask members of the public as they're shopping in these areas, enjoying themselves as they should be, they remain vigilant as well. There is understandable concern that the war in Gaza could be the catalyst for terror attacks here in the UK. In recent weeks, the alert levels in France and Belgium have been raised after separate terror attacks in those countries. These British transport police officers have also increased their counter-terror patrols in the run-up to Christmas. Although the UK terror threat level has not yet been raised, counter-terror police have seen a 700% increase in calls to the anti-terror hotline since the start of the Israel-Hamas conflict. We've seen in the past that events overseas often can lead to radicalisation of individuals here and we're very alive to that. And we've seen an increase in prevent referrals and we've seen a particular increase in the amount of online extreme material referred to us. We're now over 2,500 reports from the public to the Counterterrorism Internet Referral Unit. Over 500 of those require more investigation to understand whether there's been a hate crime or a terrorism act offence committed. The festive period not only has added symbolism in the twisted logic of terrorists, it is also a time when people are much more likely to gather in larger crowds, attending special events or Christmas shopping. And lone wolf attacks or those of lower sophistication can be just as deadly and require little in the way of planning. Well, sadly, it may only be a matter of time before we, we have a terrorist incident within the UK. We've seen them across Europe. Uh, and, of course, with the tensions in the Middle East, that's something that really could cause problems within the UK as well. People are getting radicalised, there's no doubt about that. The police have been informed that people are becoming radicalised. They don't need training in order to get into a car or use a knife, so it's a real concern for policing across the UK. The police and security services are closely monitoring known extremists. But whether they're known or unknown, the longer the war in Gaza rumbles on, the greater the risk that the radicalised turn to violence. Mark White, GB News.